What is it about this marriage that's so special that you would fight this hard to, to save it? Well, it's my soulmate, it's a person I love, you know, and you, and you, you can be in love with someone, you can love someone and you're not, and if you haven't experienced love and you don't understand it and you don't have the tools to move forward, then you're gonna have complications, period. And if you, you can either address it or you can pretend until it blows up at some point. And, you know, for us, we chose to for, fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. Hey folks, gather around because we've got some spicy gossip brewing in the world of celebs. You might want to grab a seat for this one because Queen Bey herself is stepping into the spotlight with some seriously juicy talk about Diddy and Jay-Z's shenanigans. So buckle up and get ready for the scoop on what's really going down behind the scenes. So, you heard the buzz, right? Apparently Jay-Z and Beyonce aren't exactly joined at the hip anymore. Word on the street is they've been doing their own thing for a while now. Sure, they might put on a show of togetherness every now and then, but in reality, they're living separate lives. And what's the deal? Well, it seems Jay-Z's got some skeletons in his closet that are about to come out. People are saying his shady past might be the reason behind their drifting apart. And let me tell you, it's got everyone talking. They're all smiles for the cameras, but behind closed doors, it's a different story. Apparently there's some serious drama brewing and it's got divorce written all over it. Sources say Beyonce's team is ready to pull the plug, while Jay-Z's crew is claiming he's had enough. Looks like they're both pointing fingers. Honestly, it's not hard to see why the rumors are flying. Just look at them. Beyonce seems like she's checked out, you know? It's like they're more like buddies than a couple. And you know what adds fuel to the fire? Jay-Z's little Grammy speech. He's all like, hey, how come this lady has a mountain of Grammys but never snags album of the year? Talk about dropping hints. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you may get robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. Oh, no, 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 that was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. It's got people scratching their heads, wondering what's really going on. Weird, right? So check it out. Beyonce's face during that moment, total giveaway. Word has it she was feeling pretty awkward and just wanted to bolt. And you know what? If you watch the videos from the awards ceremony, you'll see the Carters making a swift exit right after that speech. Seems like Beyonce wasn't exactly feeling the vibe, if you catch my drift. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but word on the street is their marriage has been hitting some rough patches lately. Rumor has it, Jay-Z and Beyonce have been doing the whole separate living thing for a hot minute now. And let's rewind to 2014, shall we? Remember the Met Gala? Yeah, there's this wild footage of Beyonce's sis Solange throwing hands at Jay in an elevator after an after party. Rumor Mill was churning out stories about Jay's wandering eye being the cause. Back then, the fam put out a statement, trying to smooth things over. Sure, there was a lot of talk about what went down, but bottom line, they patched things up. Jay and Solange owned up to their parts in the mess and made it clear they were moving past the drama. Here's what's really going down. On the surface, everything seemed peachy keen, but behind closed doors, total mess. Beyonce's own cousin spilled the tea, claiming back in 2016, she was seriously thinking about pulling the plug. And then came Lemonade, basically her breakup album. Beyonce dropped her highly anticipated sixth album, Lemonade, this weekend, and she instantly broke the internet, okay? On the album's fourth track, Sorry, Queen Bee calls out an unfaithful partner and ends the song by saying, he better call Becky with the good hair. You Come guys heard on, that, somebody. right? But somehow, Bay and Jay managed to patch things up. She'd throw him a bone with a shout out here and there. But turns out, things weren't all sunshine and rainbows, despite popping out twins shortly after. Guess they thought babies could fix a broken marriage classic mistake, am I right? All right, let's break down Lemonade. Beyonce's raw and real journey through heartache, betrayal, and ultimately, redemption. Strap in, cause we're diving deep into Queen Bay's emotional roller coaster. First off, Lemonade isn't just an album, it's Beyonce bearing her soul for all to see. It's her way of dealing with the bombshell that her hubby Jay-Z was playing around. 
Through 12 tracks, she takes us on a whirlwind of emotions, from denial and fury to emptiness and forgiveness. And let me tell you, she does it with style. Take Pray You Catch Me, for example. It's like we're inside Beyonce's head as she starts to piece together the truth. Then there's Hold Up and Don't Hurt Yourself, pure rage in musical form. Beyonce's voice is like a force of nature, unleashing fury like nobody's business. But it's not all doom and gloom. In Six Inch Heels and Daddy Lessons, Beyonce flexes her musical muscles, showing off her strength and roots. And as the album progresses, we start to see a glimmer of hope peeking through the darkness. Sandcastles hits you right in the feels. It's the heart of the album, where Beyonce confronts the pain head on. And man, does she lay it all out there? It's raw, it's emotional, and it's utterly captivating. But Lemonade isn't just about Beyonce's personal struggles, it's a celebration of black culture and empowerment. From the music to the visuals, Beyonce refuses to hold back or apologize for who she is. And let me tell you, it's powerful stuff. Now let's talk about Formation, the anthem of strength and resilience. Beyonce isn't just singing about herself, she's singing for all of us who faced adversity and come out on top. And as Lemonade comes to a close with All Night, we're left with a sense of hope and forgiveness. It's a reminder that true love can conquer even the deepest of wounds. So yeah, Lemonade isn't just an album, it's a masterpiece. Beyonce's poured her heart and soul into every note, and it shows. It's the kind of music that speaks to your soul and leaves you feeling empowered and uplifted. And that, my friends, is what makes it truly special. Now here's where it gets spicy. Diddy's been hogging the headlines lately, but rumor has it he's not planning on taking all the heat solo. Word on the street is, he started singing like a canary. And guess who might be next on the chopping block? Yup, you guessed it, Jay-Z. These two used to be thick as thieves, but ever since Diddy got exposed, it's been looking pretty dicey for Jay. Now here's the kicker. Jay-Z's no spring chicken, which means a lot of his shady business isn't plastered all over social media. That's how he's kept things hush-hush for so long. But mark my words, people have been talking. And guess who's most likely to spill the beans on Jay? None other than his own wifey, Beyonce. Now let's talk a bit about the power couple of the century, Beyonce and Jay-Z. These two have been rocking the world for more than two decades, and man, have they left their mark. First off, let's talk kiddos. They've got three adorable munchkins, Blue Ivy, who made her debut in 2012, and the twins Rumi and Sir, who came along in 2017. Talk about a full house. Now when it comes to their relationship, they keep it tight. They don't spill all the deets, but we get glimpses of their love story through their music and jet-setting adventures. Here's the highlights reel from their epic journey together. Back in the year 2000, Beyonce spilled the beans to 17 Mag that she met Jay-Z when she was just 18. But they didn't start officially dating until she was 19. And get this, Jay's a cool 12 years older than his queen. Fast forward to November 2001, they snagged the cover of Vanity Fair's music issue. Jay-Z was smooth talking about how they were just testing the waters of dating. Gotta admit, he had to bring his A-game to impress Bay. She's not easily swayed. Then in October 2002, they dropped the collab of the century, 03 Bonnie and Clyde. Beyonce's killer vocals paired with Jay's smooth flow made it an instant hit. And let's not forget that steamy music vid they shot together in Mexico. But hold up, Beyonce turned the tables in May 2003 with her banger Crazy in Love, featuring Jay-Z. Grammys? Oh yeah, they snagged a couple for that one. And even though they were still keeping their relationship low-key, fans were already shipping them hard. And then came August 2004, the MTV VMAs. Beyonce and Jay-Z stepped out on the red carpet together, making it official in front of the world. Talk about a power move. Oh, and they both walked away with awards that night. Boom. So we're in 2006, and Beyonce drops her bombshell bidet album. And who's right there by her side? None other than Jay-Z himself, featuring on tracks like Deja Vu and Upgrade You. Talk about a power couple in action. Fast forward to November 2006, Jay-Z's in the spotlight with his Kingdom Come album, featuring a little something from Beyonce on Hollywood. It looked like these two couldn't get enough of each other's talent. But hold on to your hats, April 4th, 2008, marks a major milestone. Beyonce and Jay-Z tie the knot in a super hush-hush ceremony, like seriously secretive. They decked out Jay-Z's swanky Manhattan pad with 70,000 orchids from Thailand. Talk about Lux. And speaking of the big day, 
Beyonce spilled the beans about her rule of not getting hitched before 25. She's all about knowing yourself before you can share your life with someone else. Wise words, Queen Bey. Now Jay-Z's not one to spill all the deets. In August 2008, he finally let slip about their matching tattoos I wore, representing their birthdays and wedding date. Gotta admit, that's pretty darn cute. Fast forward to January 2009, and the power couple's rubbing elbows with the big shots at President Obama's inauguration. Beyonce even serenades the newly sworn in president with America the Beautiful, and at last, for his first dance. Talk about a magical moment. And just when you thought they couldn't surprise us anymore, August 2011 rolls around, and they drop the baby bombshell at the MTV VMAs. Beyonce rocks the stage with her baby bump on full display, and the crowd goes wild. Buckle up though, because Beyonce and Jay-Z's journey is about to take some major twists and turns. In 2013, Queen Bey pulls back the curtain in her HBO doc, Life is But a Dream. She gets real about her journey to motherhood, revealing that Blue Ivy wasn't her first pregnancy. It's a heart-wrenching moment as she opens up about the loss she experienced. But fast forward to January 2012, and Blue Ivy steals the show, making her grand entrance into the world on January 7th in The Big Apple. And just a month later, Beyonce and Jay-Z break the internet by sharing the first pics of their bundle of joy on Beyonce's Tumblr. It's a major moment, and they make sure to thank fans for respecting their privacy during this special time. But hold on to your hats, cause 2013 is just getting started. Beyonce belts out the star-spangled banner at President Obama's second inauguration, proving once again that she's the ultimate powerhouse. Then comes February 2013, and Beyonce drops her bombshell documentary, giving fans a behind-the-scenes look at her life, including those early days of pregnancy. Talk about pulling back the curtain. But wait, there's more. July 2013 sees the release of Jay-Z's Magna Carta Holy Grail album, featuring a killer collab with Beyonce on part two, On The Run. These two just can't stay out of the studio together. And just when you thought they couldn't top themselves, December 2013 rolls around, and Beyonce drops her iconic self-titled album. But here's the kicker. It's not just an album, it's a full-on visual masterpiece with videos for every single song. And let's not forget the banger Drunk in Love, featuring none other than Jay-Z himself. In a November 29, 2017 interview with the New York Times Style magazine, Jay-Z came clean about his infidelity and opened up about how he and Beyonce patched things up with a little help from her music. In a candid moment, Jay-Z got real about the struggles of facing the pain he caused and the tough journey of self-reflection. He even admitted to hitting up therapy to work through their issues. Talk about raw honesty. And get this, both Lemonade and 444 aren't just albums, they're like their own form of couples therapy. Jay-Z confessed that listening to those tracks was like diving headfirst into the deep end of discomfort. But hey, sometimes you gotta face the music to move forward. Phew, talk about a journey from the depths of marital strife to the heights of industry acclaim. From the highs of a decades-long partnership filled with love, music, and overcoming obstacles to the shadow of uncertainty cast by recent events, Beyonce and Jay-Z's journey has been nothing short of captivating. With their enduring commitment and resilience, they've weathered storms that would have torn others apart, using their art as a beacon of hope and healing. Yet, as whispers swirl around the aftermath of Jay-Z's speech at the Grammys, where tensions seemingly simmered beneath the surface, one can't help but wonder if cracks are beginning to show in their seemingly unbreakable bond. Beyonce's speechless reaction speaks volumes, hinting at a deeper turmoil lurking behind the facade of unity. As fans hold their breath, hoping for the strength of their love to prevail, the future of music's power couple hangs in the balance, a testament to the fragility and resilience of love in the spotlight. Word on the street is, once their divorce papers hit the public, she's going to start spilling all the juicy deets. Now let's rewind and talk about their relationship timeline. It's been shady from the get-go. Beyonce's been saying they started dating when she was 18, but some folks who were around back then swear Jay actually swooped in when she was way younger, like Foxy Brown Young. Yeah, there's talk that Jay hooked up with Foxy when she was just a teen, on his payroll, and even splurged on her high school shopping sprees and fancy salon trips. Jay-Z's the master of keeping things under wraps, but when it comes to Beyonce, he went and put a ring on it, pun intended. With Foxy though, 
There's whispers he's still greasing the wheels to keep their past locked down tight. No wonder when Foxy was asked about their connection, she played it cool and dodged the questions. I can't really comment on it because I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I don't really know exactly what happened, what took place. All I know is that I support him and whatever. I don't know exactly the situation, but I can personally say, I mean, personally, from before we even started rapping, that Jay isn't violent, Jay isn't malicious, so he had to be provoked for anything like that to happen, my personal feeling. But hey, she's not having any of it. She's ready to throw down and take legal action against anyone spreading those rumors. And then there's Rymir. Poor guy's been trying to get Jay-Z to own up to being his dad for almost a decade now. You see, Rymir Satterthwaite has been making waves lately claiming Jay-Z's his pops, and he's not backing down. He's taken the whole shebang to the Supreme Court, aiming to get some official recognition. Dude's pushing to unseal court docs, ready to throw down and prove his case against Jay-Z once and for all. This ain't gonna end till I get what's right, Satterthwaite told the Daily Mail. He's all about living his truth and hoping Jay-Z will come around eventually, if fate's on his side, that is. My court case is still going on, it's still active, and I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me from day one. I want to ask y'all to keep supporting me and keep coming in because we couldn't do it without you guys. It's all about us, it's not just about me, this thing is about me getting it done, but it's all about us in the world. I'm trying to make sure any court system we go in or any courtroom we go in, we getting treated it, or we getting treated correctly and fairly, and things are not going over judges' heads and lawyers are not lying and things of that sort, so. He's been making noise for a minute now, saying he's Jay-Z's kid from back in the day before Jay hit the big time. But Jay's been singing a different tune, denying he's Rymir's dad and lawyering up for the showdown. Back in 2011, Rymir's mom tried to get Jay-Z to own up, filing a lawsuit in Jersey for child support and paternity, but it got tossed out because of some legal technicality and never got a second shot. Jay's legal eagles are playing hardball though, they're sticking to their story, saying this whole thing's been hashed out already and Rymir's barking up the wrong tree. I'm betting the outcome won't change, no matter what Rymir's got up his sleeve, they said. But Rymir? He's not giving up without a fight. He's ready to take on Goliath, armed with nothing but the truth and a whole lot of determination. Guess we'll just have to wait and see how this epic showdown unfolds. However, Jay's been pulling some shady moves, allegedly using his clout to dodge taking a paternity test. Rymir's mom, Wanda, swears up and down they hooked up back in 92, but Jay's been giving her the runaround ever since. Even when she tried to sue for child support, the whole thing got tossed out on a technicality. But Rymir's not backing down, he's calling foul play, accusing Jay and his legal team of pulling strings to avoid the truth. Shady business, if you ask me. Rymir's got a gut feeling that there's more to this whole court drama than meets the eye. He's thinking maybe there's some shady stuff going on behind the scenes, like someone pulling strings for their own gain. And can we talk about the elephant in the room? Why would Jay-Z keep a lid on a kid he supposedly had way back when he was just a nobody? I mean, he wasn't exactly topping charts back then, so what's the big secret? Well, here's the kicker rumor has it. When Jay-Z and Wanda got together, he was in his 20s and she was barely legal. You do the math, it's not exactly a good look for Jay-Z, right? And that's probably why he's dodging that DNA test like the plague. Wanda's godmother spilled the tea, saying they had some convos with Jay-Z's lawyer, thinking they could sort things out on the down low. But then things took a turn when more lawyers jumped in, smelling blood in the water. Suddenly it's game on, and Jay-Z's got a lot more to lose than just his rep. And let me tell you, this ain't the first rodeo. Even before this mess blew up, there were whispers behind closed doors for ages. And from what I've heard on the grapevine, Beyonce might not be sticking around when the heat turns up. So, what's your take? You think Beyonce and Jay-Z are headed for Splitsville? Or is Jay just biding his time till the clock runs out? So, that's the lowdown on all the drama surrounding Rymir, Jay-Z, and Beyonce. It's a wild ride with twists and turns at every corner. But hey, this story's far from over. Who knows what'll happen next? Will Rymir get the recognition he's fighting for? Will Jay-Z finally come clean? And what about Beyonce? Is she gonna stick it out or call it quits? Guess we'll just have to stay tuned and see how this drama unfolds. Till next time, folks. Keep your ears to the ground and your eyes peeled for the next chapter in this juicy saga. Peace out and don't forget to keep it Rizzle.